everybody, it's Haley. Today we are making the best dessert ever. It's called Sopapilla Cheesecake. If you've ever had this, you know it's incredible. And if you haven't had this, you have to make it right now. The ingredients are pretty simple and it's gonna be easy to make. Just take some time to chill after you bake it because they're best when they're cold. Sopapilla Cheesecake Bars, actually. They are delicious. Thank you to Mrs. Sloan, who I got this recipe from and her family. They would make these all the time and bring them over and I love them, so I asked her for the recipe and she shared it with me. And you're gonna love these, so let's get started. First thing you wanna do is get a 9 by 13 pan and grease it or butter it. And I'm gonna take a roll of crescent dough. This is an eight ounce roll. I'm going to put it on the bottom. So just unroll this carefully. So we can try to uh, keep it in one piece. If it doesn't stay in one piece, you just press it together. You know, it'll be fine. It'll be okay. Oh my gosh, the butteriness of this is so good. Oh, it looks delish. And I'm just gonna press this together a little because there's some holes. Press, 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 press. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm so excited because we haven't had this dessert in forever and my family loves it too, so they're gonna be so happy. We have two eight ounce packages of cream cheese. You want this to be soft so that it's easy to beat together. And I'm just gonna beat this up so I can make sure there's no clumps. Add one cup of granulated sugar and a teaspoon of Mexican vanilla. And we're gonna beat that together until it's nice and creamy and smooth. And that's it, the filling is that easy. Then you're just gonna spread this filling on top of the crescent rolls. Then take another can of crescent roll dough and unroll it on top. Just try to be careful. Hopefully this will roll out evenly. Then in this bowl, you want half a cup of pretty soft butter, and we're gonna add in three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar and a tablespoon of cinnamon. This is kind of a lot. And we're gonna mix this all together. Then just kind of dot this evenly over the top. Might even spread it out a little bit, like a cinnamon roll. You could do little spoonfuls of it, or you can spread it out like I'm doing. I think this way is gonna be better. That way it's nice and even. Everybody gets plenty of cinnamon sugar. This is the best. Oh my gosh! This smells and looks so good. You're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for about 30 minutes until it's like nice and golden and it'll get like a crispy caramelized sugar on top. Ah! Okay, let's go. All right, it's all done baking. Then you want to chill these in the fridge for a few hours or overnight. And ta-da! The Sopapita cheesecake bars are all done. They look so perfect and yummy. I'm so excited for these. Oh my gosh. It's got like this crispy, sugary top. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is seriously one of my favorite desserts. It's so crazy that I've never made it, but just this buttery, flaky croissant, and then the super, like, crisp, sugary top, and the perfect cheesecake filling. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. I definitely recommend making them. Let me know in the comments if you do. Let me know what other desserts you want to see me make. I'm going to share lots of Valentine's recipes. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on those. And I'll see you next time. Bye.